In this video, we'll define and briefly discuss powers and transposes, two unrelated topics that are being smushed together because we don't have a whole lot to say about either of them. A power is simply a repeated product. So now that we've defined products of matrices, we can try to define powers of matrices. There's a hitch though. If A is M by N, and you try to multiply A by itself. Remember, we can only do this if those inner powers match. So A squared is only defined if N equals M which would make A a square matrix. And in general, if A is a square matrix, we can define natural number powers of A in the natural way. A to the power of K, is A times itself K times. And that's all we have to say about powers at the moment. The transpose of A, A with a T up in the superscript, is gotten by swapping the rows of A with the columns of A. So say that you have this two by three matrix and you take its transpose. Then this first row, is the first column of the transpose. And the second row is the second column of the transpose. Transposes are important, but we are almost certainly not going to have a chance to talk about them in this class. Um, transposes are important because they're part of a definition. A matrix is symmetric if it equals its own transpose. And in all of the years that I have been teaching this class, we've never had a, the time to discuss symmetric matrices. So we don't really have a lot of use for this in this class in particular. Other, we can still state some properties of transposes. The transpose of a transpose is just the original matrix. The transpose of a sum is the sum of the transposes. If we've got a scalar 
inside a transpose, we can pull that scalar right out. And finally, and we're going to see something similar to this later in the course. The transpose of a product is the product of the transposes, but it's the product of the transposes in their reverse order. A B transpose is B transpose times A transpose.